right, so we are back for uh, Final Fantasy VII. We are not going to have our camera cause us problems today. I think I've troubleshot that. Uh, and we are not going to let the, the jellyfish bully us today. Yeah, Liam, I definitely, I, I don't know, this last week I've been just, like, really stressed. So anytime I tried to, like, sit down to read something, my brain was just like, no. <laughs> yes, it is the book don't, that you commented on read in Goodreads. <laughs> I say I, I will say if you're looking for some like really well written or like highbrow romance novel, that's not the one. <laughs> it's not the one. Tell us how you really feel. It's, it's the opposite. <laughs> All right. I don't think we have a fast travel point that's too much closer to this. For where are we going? Oh. I mean, we could go here. Yeah. Ronnie would just like look up from the book and tell me something about it, and I was like, "This sounds awful." <laughs> it's... I know. CMB, I forgot to, st to open that thing today, so that's broken. Like I said, I didn't pick it because I thought it would be good. So, oh no, he got a one. He got a that <laughs> one. Oh no. Anyways, what's up, CMB? Welcome to the party. I fixed our webcam because uh, it, so now we're straight on instead of at a weird angle, as you can see. I was just thinking, do we have two? We nat have one die. emojis. We found this guy's shed. But we don't have a nat twenty emoji. No, we don't. Did you? So, um, Aerith, uh, her voice actor, has a Twitch stream. And someone made her an emo of like, it's like an animated version of her, like, go like, Psh, and throw on sunglasses, <laughs> and she's like... <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. <sighs> TMB, now that you've probably finished Gaganga, because you're like a little ahead of us... Gaganga? How do you feel about that area? Because I'm gonna... The, um... The, uh... Jellyfish make me want to die. Life without Mako. Uh, it's not without its charm, is it? In fact, this could be a whole new string to the Shinra Resort's bow, eh? The rural getaway. Cast off modernity and embrace eternity. You'd be surprised how many people would. He just keeps talking, man. It's like I love how no one's interrupting him. They're just letting him ramble. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Damn it! Not again! After all that time and effort. Who is this? Uh, uh, the pursuit of perfection. Huh? Who are you? Whatever, I don't have time to. <laughs> Cosmo Canyon was my favorite location in the original game. Uh, it is a weapon, but. Uh, <laughs> this guy should be played by Jack Black. Universal adapter, allowing you to switch out weapons at will. But look at all these scratches. Wait, have you been going around punching things with your attachments? Uh. Occasionally. <laughs> Occasionally. <laughs> you hey, thank you for the cheer. But this unique cylinder provides unparalleled shock absorption, allowing for high impact performance. Parents like okay. Who's the genius that built this? An old friend, I guess. Don't know where he's at now, though. Uh, wait right there! <laughs> Eureka! <laughs> I love Cosmo Canyon. Got carried away. My name's. Is that where we do the other part of the date, or do we go back to the the gondola? Yeah, you go back to Cosmo Canyon to Gold Saucer. Okay. Finally made a breakthrough. I'm just here for the romance, so... Cosmo Canyon might make me cry. Oh, okay. The, I need. the beginning of my, uh, political activist life. <laughs> By the way, I mean, I know that you confirmed it, 
before when I asked, but we do have to make sure Tifa likes us the most because otherwise we won't get her in the romance cutscene. I don't know how to confirm. Like, I know we can see by the color, <laughs> but I don't know how to tell which one in the colors likes us the most. The romances and the bromances. This is all about love. So I decided to leave it all behind. I wandered in search of somewhere I could build my weapons in peace. <laughs> Just going crazy in the background. It's Matt from Digimon. Yeah, right? Materials can be hard to come by when you live out here in the sticks. So about Barrett's arm. Though it seems crude at a glance, look close. The craftsmanship is remarkable. Whoever made it must have been a specialist in a completely different field. Yeah, it's weird how we keep finding uh, different weapons we can just attach to his arm all over yeah. the place, isn't it? The ultimate weapon. Indeed. I've made it my life's work. Frustrating though it's been. How to conceive a weapon, I lack the vocabulary to describe. It did change. It did change. Well, if all you need is some material, sure. Why not? Just leave it to us. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. I believe I left a map in my storage shed that you can use to find what I need. You believe? It's your shed. And you shouldn't have any trouble. The ultimate weapon! Friendship! Hell yeah. Take it all your stuff. Yeah, take it. Don't you didn't seem to care. I didn't want to talk to you. Bro, I didn't forget you literally just told me two seconds ago. I like the little organ. Never seen someone so interested in my arm. Most folks try their best to look the other way. Where's the shed? That's putting it mildly. Made me realize too how. Yo, three body problem goes hard. I love those books. Ronnie wouldn't watch it with me. Now she's regretting it. What? <laughs> we were all talking about what the end dinner, and, and Ronnie was like. Oh yeah, I know that exists. <laughs> I, <laughs> you missed you out making, on all the cute. Why are you making fun of me? Hot scientists. Well, you're going the wrong way, so there. I always go the wrong way because I don't believe in being put in a box. <laughs> okay. I don't have just three body problems. I have four body problems. You would absolutely hate the books. I'll tell you now. But I love them. You have to go out where you came in. Oh. Oh, we did walk by a shed. But I I really like the books. Especially Death Send. That's my favorite. On uh, the scale of the book Ronnie's reading to the book The Three Body Problem, how much would your mom like The Three Body Problem? <laughs> Uh, she, well, I was gonna say she probably liked the three body problem more just because it's hard to be worse than the book I'm reading, but it, it the book I'm reading is also kind of like a mindless Hallmark movie if you just wanted everybody Vampires to be having sex fuck. all the time. <laughs> like, a spot to dodge lightning strikes from the sky. Um, if there is, we haven't gotten there yet. You're thinking of a different game, and now I can't remember what game you're thinking of. Oh. But, open the map. Okay, do that thing. Find a necessary Draconoid ore. Must be the map Izo was talking about. Don't know what else it'd be. Well, let's see where it takes us. You ready? Okay, so how do I, like... We gotta look at it. Okay, we're looking oh, for- Oh, I remember seeing that, uh, picture. I think it's on the other side of the shed, actually. If you go over here. And- and look at the wall. Okay. So, it wants you to go... Is there a cave up here or something? Like, what is it pointing to? The 200 lightning bolts, what? <laughs> Lindsay we might not- we might not have gone to it yet. Lindsay Lohan has a new movie? I think you probably want to go around here. Uh, no, we did not see the Lindsay Lohan. There is a new Lindsay Lohan movie. I don't know about that. Uh, and I think it is a romance one. 
Is it like an Irish romance or something like that? I feel like I remember. The lightning bolts from Final Fantasy X. And again, it's been so long since I played that, I'm not sure. So what if you hit L1, what happens? Like, so I feel like we already passed it? I need like Witcher vision. I'm just getting all the stuff off the map so that way we can focus. Is it like in this little corner? Um. There's more than one picture. Okay, so do we have to find another picture? Oh, view note one of five. So okay, oh. you have to click oh, over. I see. Okay, okay so we so are. If you go up here, so this is this. Yeah. So then we want to go around this way. Here, yeah. And, and then, then what are we looking next? for next? Okay, so there's that. First, I gotta take out these big boys. Yeah, you gotta kill this bug. I actually just really like that this is called Prime Mode. Oh, he interrupted it! Take that, you jerk. Okay. Okay, so I think we want to go around this circular rock. Yeah. And then... Looking for a rock with a hole in it. Well, the direction said this way, so I feel like we want to follow this path. Yeah. There, there, there we is. go. So left. Final Fantasy IX was an experience. Okay, there's that tree. Oh, we gotta climb up the rope, maybe? Or is it pointing at this thing right there? Oh. Let's take a look. Oh, no. Uh oh. Hi, guys. Give me a sass. Freaking flying enemies. Clouds, uh, kryptonite. Come on. Oh my god. Just hang on. I'm coming. Watch yourself. You're in good hands now. <laughs> They're doing something called ionic charge and I'm scared. What are they charging? How about you pull yourself together? <laughs> yeah, oh. you can tell him you. We get Cloud looking Gucci. Um, do you have a sess on you? You do. We need to know what the heck these things are. They don't like air. Cloud, you gotta jump, bro! <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'm like, why doesn't he jump into the air? Like, we know he can do, do it. He they get up in the air and then they start, like, juggling people up there. Why is it so hard for him to do it? They're just orbs of lightning! This is where Yuffie comes in super useful. That's what I'm saying, like, I feel like, why don't they just make him auto-jump into the air? Like, if he's locked on to the enemy, yeah, yeah. and you, like, click attack, I feel like he should... Ow. Just great. Get up. Ow. Yuffie's HP is not looking... So hot. Ah! Um, yeah, you could have a high potion. Get away from me, stinky! Stop 
and Waka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just take it, care of them. Hit it with a damn uh, blitz the ball. Bl blitz ball, yeah, that's what it's called. Oh my god. I know she has her limit, but it just seems like a waste. I mean, it's half HP. <laughs> All right. Go Ganga. I am on fire today. I've been pretty rough on you, I know, but you've always come through for me. Thanks, buddy. Don't know where I'd be without you. You ever talk to your uh, inanimate objects? So I think if you. Oh, yeah, do that first. Okay, uh, we need eight the of them. Purple crystals. I think you want to get those purple crystals. Still got more to find. So I think we got to get these two, and then we got to climb up and find the rest. There'll probably be more enemies up here. Probably, probably those jellyfish, cause yeah, more jellyfish. Knowing how this game goes, I see. Oh, I see I one. See, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. See another one? They thought you could hide from me? Maybe it can. <laughs> Cloud! <laughs> You're not standing in exactly the right position to pick it up, okay? I did see what I considered to be a valid criticism of this game is that they were like, it feels like the the main story was made by a team with a lot of love and the, the open world to some extent was made like kind of like they made an open world and then didn't fill it with that much. Mm. It is. Let's head back and check in with Ezo. Um, I thought I saw a bench. Um, I did not see a bench. Apparently not. But... We can probably fast travel back. I mean, right now for me, this is game of the year. Oh yeah, for sure. I I love watching those TikTok videos of people working out with them. It would be sick to own like a real life like replica. Like the Buster Sword. Yeah. Oh, did you find everything? I mean. Here you go. There you go, buddy. Get to work. Excellent. Daddy Barrett needs a new gun. Wait here while I finish up. <laughs> me when I was changing my outfit in Diablo 3. Yes, yeah, me. We started Diablo 3 today. Of course I enjoy it. That's why I chose this job. Besides, it's the wielder who dictates the true value of a tool. Weapons too. Aye, that's especially. Aye. Yes, yes, I've done it. This well, we have a mortal edition, so. <laughs> what does that mean? I may not be the. We played Diablo one and two for our YouTube channel, and now we're doing three. User as you like. The User as you like. Of the tool, remember? Like, is that a difficulty setting or something? <laughs> I mean, oh, the, it's a mobile oh. game. Oh, I don't think we'll be playing the mobile game. That's how I choose to see my part in it. We're playing a necromancer and a witch demon, demon hunter. hunter. You just met. I'm a sexy, sexy demon hunter with vampire born. wings. Yeah. I actually kind of wish the wings were a little bit smaller. Because... He was thinking of your future. Of what you might do after... Um... Honestly, we didn't get that far in it. Yeah, we just... So far. We just got to where we got to help Leah, um... Uh, get the key so we can get back to. So we can go down into into the the, the cathedral where Diablo One takes place. <laughs> um, Fafnir. Fafnir. <laughs> Excuse me. Not joking in the least. Who's joking? 
my masterpiece. You owe me a cake fit for a king. All right. So don't you go dying on me. You hear? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So far, I think my thoughts on 3 are it seems a lot easier than 2, but I don't know if that's just because we're in the opening area so yeah. far. And also, it seems like I I feel like I need to see how the leveling up abilities and stuff works a little more, because right now, it seems it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> yeah, so it's to just like get giving us points and stuff. And um, uh, and like, I don't know. Oh, oh my god. I slipped off the chair. <laughs> I'm trying to sit. I thought I was about to get toppled <laughs> into. Um, yeah, it's very different. Um, the hardest part so far for us was, uh, getting the damn party made. We couldn't figure out how to, like, get get into a party together because they just didn't tell us that we had to buy Switch Online for it. Yeah, that's another thing is I had to pay for Nintendo Switch Online to be able to play multiplayer, so. And, uh, does the deep dive video talk about Blizzard Entertainment basically just trying to pump as much money out of people's pockets as they can <laughs> to get their... <laughs> To get all of these, like, uh, cosmetic things for their characters, because I feel like that was definitely a thing that I noticed 3 seems to have that, too. Okay, Barrett likes me. Green is lower than blue, right? Yes. They're the same? I guess. I don't know if you can see a friendship level thing. Also, the answers to your questions do matter. I know. Oh, okay. I figured that out when it says your relationship has changed. There's one, two, and three star answers. Yeah. So. I don't know. Kate Sith doesn't have anything. He's just a cat. Maybe we can't get his friendship because he's a robot. Um. Okay, so what do we got left? These are all done. Is it just Intel now? I think. I was like, I don't. I think we just have a lot of areas we haven't been to. Yeah. Like, it looks like there's even stuff up here that we haven't been to, but how do we get there, you know? But, like... Well, for here, we, we got there. 250! Holy what? crap! Who is paying for that? I mean, I guess if you, like, have a lot of money... If, or if, like, I mean, like... <laughs> and you just want to waste it, you could, uh... Whales. Even if Diablo 3 is, like, your... Or Diablo's your favorite friend of all time, right? You'd have to really... Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's just time to explore. Bunnies? There, There is bunnies. There she is. Whee! <laughs> Come on, man. You gotta get two steps further. A sapphire. Oh, okay. One man outwailed the other whales. Got stuck on the top and couldn't find PvP matches. Roddy accidentally spawned power. herself into the PvP matches. I did. I didn't see anybody in there, so. Alright, what are we doing? Like, are there any towers out here or anything? I love the little dancing frogs. I feel bad killing them. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I guess that's like when people say that gaming can lead to like unhealthy addictions. That's yes. what they're talking about <laughs> is those kinds of things. But like, but I feel like you already had a predilection to addiction at that mm. point. And if it wasn't gaming, it would be like Pokemon cards or something, right? I, like, I'm trying to think of something that I have spent... I've never spent close to $250,000. I don't know that it... I mean, maybe in my lifetime I've come yeah. close to having that amount, but, like, never at one time or 
where I could say, like, I spent that much on one thing, you know? I don't know if there's anything that I've spent yeah. that much money on. Food. <laughs> Food, yeah. Yeah, that's true. The most I've ever spent on a game is probably something subscription based. So, the fact that I had to continuously play for pay for Nintendo Online so that I could like play Animal Crossing with people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But even that is not like you a know, lot no, the of most money. money I've definitely spent on games over like like, you know, that's not an offline game, is RuneScape. RuneScape! Hell yeah! RuneScape is legit. Can you, like, buy outfits and stuff in that, too? Is that why... Well, you can you can pay people real money for stuff if you want to, like, on mm. eBay and stuff. But it's mostly just that it costs, like... It was, like... I can't buy... Was it $5 a month back in the day? Hmm. A croaking chorus. I think you did that one already. Yeah, it's already checked off. But why is it still showing up? And they do still show up. They just go from gold to, like, mm. white, so... I mean, I'm just, like, trying to, like, uncover the... the fog of war. Yeah. But I feel like I kind of hit a dead end here. Yeah, I mean, if we want to just start going towards where we Wait, know, there's... I think CMB said there was something on the beach, right? Yeah, so, so... if you fast travel to here and then yeah. you walk around... Buy membership for GP Gold now. Pieces. Oh no! Like, like I so I really want to play Final Fantasy fourteen, but I just I know I will never stop. Hi. All right, Gaganga, what's going on? Oh, yeah, I guess you could fast travel to the other beach and then go check in the, the other, other area. Order. Oh, bathroom break. Ronnie, you uh, keep everyone happy. There's a ball. About to play some red 13 ball. Putting it in the water. So tedious exploring this region. Yeah, fa fast travel is definitely a modern gaming achievement that I am very glad exists because I would hate to walk around everywhere. Like, Ian and I just finished playing Sea of Stars, which I really liked that game. But it was it's an indie studio, and there was definitely some parts where I was like, I want to get back to this place quickly. But there was no way to, like, fast travel quickly until a certain point in the game, so it just was kind of tedious. Alright, I did find a, some kind of- oh, I found Goganga Port. What we got going on here? Hello. Okay. We got a shop. You got anything new? You got some mushrooms? Healing materia! Okay, you, you, no, nothing really. I knew you, had a keen eye. you knew I had a keen eye? You say that after I don't buy anything from you? That doesn't really to make it sound like you sell anything good. Okay. Oh, this lady just telling me her opinion on force. All right, so seems we have explored everything here. But I don't think there's anything. Yeah, 
sorry about the emote stuff. Uh, Ian forgot to turn them on, so they don't work for the stream today. So... Nothing to be done. Okay, I thought I could maybe climb up here or something, but no. Okay, well, you know, we found somewhere else we can fast travel to, so that's something. Actually, let me go back to the beach because... I guess, I mean, I, I, Ian is really in charge of all that streaming stuff, but he said if he doesn't turn it on at the start of the stream, then they just don't work. So... Oh, hello! Oh, yeah. So you have to turn, you have to log into that before you open OBS. Yeah. Otherwise, we have to turn off the stream and then restart the stream. So... Nothing I can really do about it at this point. Normally I do that right when I log into the computer, but I just forgot today. It depends on what else goes on the pizza, right? Like, I feel like salty, a little sweet and tangy together, that's fine. But you can go overboard with it. I will say I, myself, would never order pineapple on pizza, but if so, if I show up to somebody's house and they were like, hey, I got pizza, and the only pizza we have is, like, this pineapple and ham pizza, I'd be like, okay, sure. Now, ham, that's a different story. Ham does not go on pizza. Oh. It sucks. Pineapple, well, that's just normally what you get with pineapple No, pizza. it should be, like, pineapple and Italian sausage or something. Okay. I don't like ham on pizza. I don't like the texture. I don't like how, like, chewy and thick it becomes. Mmm. But yeah, I mean, Did like, I, miss an, uh, I just think, like, you know, I wouldn't want, like, pineapple and, like, sardines. Yeah, ham pie with the Hawaiian pizza, exactly. If somebody, if I showed up to somebody's house and they were like, hey, I got pizza and it was only the Hawaiian pizza, I'd be like, okay. Melva Volan Creek and Helldivers. I was like, it's probably Helldivers that are. I was like, what is HD? <laughs> and I was like, oh, Helldivers. So where are we on our way to, Ronnie? I'm just exploring. It does look like there's some sort of building over here or something. They're giving you some antidotes. Oh, never mind. I like how I had to bounce on a chocobo to get over here. It's probably and then... a quest. Immediately, there's a rope to climb up, which I can't do on the chocobo. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I I could not fight choke have chocobo fight club. Now in sixteen, you do have to fight the evil chocobos. If he started talking, oh! okay. Yeah, I guess there's nothing else over here. I just wanted to make sure I fully explored this area. Yeah, yeah. So I guess do we want to try and go over here next, or you just want to try and go to where we know we have things to find, like over here? I mean, either way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if I just go, like, there there will probably be side quests that will send us so over That's here, what I was right? thinking. So, like, I feel like it's smarter to just, like, go start grabbing here. at towers and yeah. stuff. These towers are so close to each other. What's the, what's the main thing? Uh. Oh, you're, we're getting Right, we're pilot. getting Sid. So, I guess here? Oh, the secret gym. The thing is, can we get up high? Because that's like pretty up. down low, and it's kind. Of, there is a rope there. You could put this. But here. I was like, yeah, maybe start there. But that's where the oh, that's where the mag, mag guns are. The jellyfish. Uh oh. Oh, CMB. I don't know. Have is have you found a way to cast silence in this? 
Because uh, I guess if you silence the jellyfish... Oh, I think man. you probably gotta go jump on this. Um, and then attack them, it pressures them, like, immediately. <laughs> it was almost gonna jump by itself. Oh, there's a tower right there. But I don't know how to get to it, but it's up on top of this. This one? Yeah. Oh. oh, hello. Yes, I will come with you. I'm so paranoid that the webcam's gonna freeze even though I know it didn't freeze. The, like, singing in the background of this area just really just makes me think of that Nicki- of Nicki Minaj. <laughs> yeah. She's just like, have it there have it there. Alright. In the water we go. We are knocking stuff off the list today so far. Mm -hmm. But it's probably gonna mostly just be us finishing off Gagonga today. Gagonga. A good word to say. Yep. What's another word that's as satisfying to say as gongonga? Mellifulous. <laughs> P.S. Vita. Mm. I don't know which place. Was, uh, was it Crisis was Core? Because Crisis Core is on the P.S. P. And the P.S. Vita was the updated Crisis Core. Or the P.S. P. Right? Uh, I never had a P.S. Vita, so I don't know. I, I love my PSP. I love playing Kingdom Hearts uh, Birth by Sleep on there. Okay, so. Do I want to go back there, or do I want to go... I mean, you could just walk back the way you came, right? I think so. Where was that? How did I come in here? Where am I? You, uh, oh, yeah, let's go up. And then, oh, I think you can just jump to this tower if you have your, your bird. Your yeah, bird. Get your bird. Uh, I always have my bird with me. That's you. I'm your bird? Yeah, you never heard that. Is that what English people call women sometimes? Yes, they do call them that. <laughs> Love my Vita more than the PSP. The added features and better chips would have made for a banging homebrew mod. How do I get up here? That's a good question. I mean, do I just like... <laughs> it's definitely too high. Hmm. I, I heard rumors that they're talking about making like a new PSP. We must have to, well, maybe, okay, so there's this mushroom here. Yeah. Uh, I was like, or there's maybe a mushroom up top somewhere that you have to, like, jump down from, but we still have to figure out how to get up to that mushroom. God, they really did say, oh, look, the Moogles. <laughs> they didn't say that. Wait, what? I see the Moogle mushroom right there. Oh, you're But right. I was like, they really did just say, how can we make this area so annoying to traverse? And then they were like, you have to bounce on mushrooms to get to certain areas. So, don't get me started on the Switch. The people who made the Switch should be jailed. And they, they should not be allowed to sell that piece of shit. <laughs> it's trash. All right, last time you did this uh, mini game, you basically just perfected it the first try, so... Two hit limit. What? Gotta try it in hard mode. This is the first time it's asked that. Yeah, well, it gave us... You got the easier level unlock last time because you got hit so many times. Oh. New time limit. Oh, no. You have four minutes. After playing Pokemon Violet, definitely think it shows the limitations. Yeah. yeah. And we just did the DLC for that, too, and it was... Holy crap! 
Oh my god! I was like, I honestly don't know how you missed those first two. Because I'm a god? Okay, hold on. Where is... I'm stuck! That guy's gotta go first. He got me. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was two hits. I think it's two hits, and then if you get hit one more time, you're out? Because it was three hits normally. Over here. Oh. No! Bro, he's in there. I can't oh. believe that didn't get I, 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 The hitboxes do not phase me. Oh. I forgot they attacked me from in there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Look at his cute little, little pom-poms on his head. Nintendo doesn't seem like they care <laughs> about anything. Well, and like... Wii Wii U DS3 3... 3 3DXL Switch, yeah. I feel like... Because, like, I know everybody makes this comparison, but, like, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom were also on the Switch, and I felt like those were way better than, like, the Pokemon games. Yeah, but they give them, you know, multiple years to make those. That's why I'm actually kind of interested to see this Pokemon. Because it's not gonna be back to back years, right? Mm. Like, they, they gave him at least two years in between. And then all the Pokemon stands were hating on me for memeing on Pokemon. I don't know if you saw that on YouTube. I did not. Wish he could get blown up by his own bombs. Have a taste of his own medicine. All right, that's two. You're next, banana boy. It's kind of hard to see the bananas in the grass. Oh, no, his his siblings are defending him. Can't get him in the corner anymore. All right, that's three. Okay, two more. He's got us so far away. <laughs> Get out of the water! Bro, wait. How do you do that? Oh, I gotta push him across the water, probably. Mm. If we go this way. This is hard! This is hard. You still have two minutes, so you're only halfway. Shoot them. Yeah, get over there. Run! <laughs> the aerial bombardment! Oh my god. I can't believe those bananas are. He's, he's got a hell of a throw on Josh Allen out there. <laughs> okay, where's the last okay, one? One more. Stressful part of the game is taking care of Holy crap! Hands. <laughs> You're a lifesaver, Koopo. Good job. Gizmo! What are you doing? Here she comes. Hi, Gizmo! Thank you so much.
much for gathering all the Moogle. It's not dinner time yet. You have 30 minutes. established the very first Moogle Emporium way back when. Their seven children went on to open up branches all over the world, Koopo. Would take a page out of their book. But yeah, I think like the Zelda devs just are better than Game Freak. Mm. So I would totally agree with that. Anything interesting catch your eye, Koopa? Come here. Yes, Mom. Um. Come here. Definitely want these. Do you, CMB, if you're still here, how do you feel about the level up system in this game? I don't love, like, how... It's not linear, but it just kind of, like, I don't really feel like I'm like, oh, I want that thing, I'm gonna level, like, grind it towards it. I'm just like, I'll just take this. Well, um, I mean, you can't even see the higher level stuff until after Yeah. The That's one of my bigger complaints about this. Oh, all right. We were trying to get to the mushroom so we could bounce to the... <laughs> I was just gonna start uncovering while we're over here. Because at least if we get fast travel points, then we have to come here later for whatever they give us, right? It won't be that bad. Look at this dude. He's, just, he's foraging. I'm getting kisses from Gizmo. I mean, the towers would unlock stuff. Yeah. Hi! Are you a little baby, Gizmo? Are you a little baby? Mm hmm. You think the Chocobo ever gets tired of working? Maybe. <laughs> nice little emerald there. I Honestly, it came out at the perfect time. I know yeah. I was spending a lot we, of hours in Animal Crossing. In general, we love Animal Crossing. Okay. Hello. We won't hold back. Sometimes I think about opening Animal Crossing again, but she can't face her villagers. I feel like the the time has passed for me for that one for until that the one. next one comes out. But I played it pretty consistently for at least six months. I feel like yeah, because I feel like I didn't get to a full year. Was this creepy place? Okay. <laughs> um, more boxes. All that for a grenade? Nothing down there. There is something down here. I think we've got fiends on our hands. We got fiends on our hands. Gagi Handi. Known best for its distinct fangs, the Gagi Gandhi is believed to have migrated to these lands. Hey. Far away continent. There was revered as a sacred. The new camera position doesn't show the cats when they're on my lap anymore. No. Nope. So people can't see when I'm The actual the cat. problem with that is that I'm too tall and you're just short enough that I like, it's hard to find a good camera angle. Okay. Look at these fancy lads. How's our HP looking? We do need some heals. But, uh, Liam, 
I actually have never played any Mario games, so I've been considering playing like Mario on, on our YouTube channel just to, you know, have the experience. Speaking of Switch reminded me of that. Alright, pressure, stagger, time limit. Ow! I just don't know where to start. Okay, this is the ones we gotta hit them with when they're trying to do ambush. I gotta have uh, one of them charged up, you know? Ah, I'm stuck in there! Uh, Tifa? Heal me up? Can you guys use ambush? Ow! Can you not do an ambush anymore? Yeah. Alright, you're dead. Please, try ambush. Ow! Holy crap! Oh no. Oh, he's doing it, he's doing it. I was like, will that count? Or do you have to use a powerful weapon technique? I thought it said. It's just, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I can try one more time. See if we get there. Yuffie, hit him with Art of War. It did it. Because it was already close to being staggered. Yeah. And Liam asked, Are you, would you play the early version? Or um, first, or I would rather start with something slightly modern before doing like Super Mario 64 or something, but... Hey! That was a like, I know Super Mario 64 is beloved, I but, you know, I think if I started with that one, I would just be annoyed with it, because I don't have any appreciation for it. We put a lot of thought into this, so give it a try! Okay, um... Mario Galaxy? Okay. I mean, like, cause I do, I wanna, I, I... Like, I, that or Odyssey was what I was thinking. Powerful offensive abilities. Don't have... Alright, can... Okay, they're both doing it? There we go. Tifa? Get in there with a star shower? Just annihilated? I like when you hit them with Braver and their body like hits the ground and bounces off. Yeah. Up. It's like I noticed there's no time limit this time and I think it's because you already did it, which is nice that it doesn't make you redo all the ones. Yeah, that you yeah. Can get just the ones. A little forgiving there. Oh. Finish him, Tifa! Excellent work completing our combat objectives! Though I suspect it wasn't much of a challenge. Okay. Progress has been made.
Um. So we gotta get this. That was the tower we were trying to get to, that we saw the mushroom that we could potentially bounce on to get there. So fast travel, like... That we haven't gotten that tower either. Um... Mm -hmm. I love watching people play Mario Maker, but I want to play something with a story. Like, I don't know anything about even Mario lore. You want me to figure out how to get to these places, or...? Doesn't matter yeah. to me. I'm just trying to figure out where to go to get there. Like, this is the kind of map that makes me want to jump off a bridge. Well, I'm just offering if you want me to navigate and then you just do all the fights, I'll just pass the controller to you, but I'll get us around the area. There's a rope? Wait, there's a mushroom over here. Yes. Come hither. But yeah, uh, I don't know if you watch Northern Lion at all. He's one of my favorite streamers, and he's pretty good at Mario Maker. Uh, he he did a, he was in these Mario Maker competitions called Checkpoint League. Gizmo, we have no desserts. What am I supposed to do? Go down to the bodega. Good, but that's too much work. Good. Did you say good? I said could. Oh. <laughs> choke a it's rain and choke a bows. See, Ronnie, it wasn't too hard for me. You did it. <laughs> yeah, hater. I'm just saying you you don't like navigating the map. I don't mind doing it. If you wanted, I would be happy to do it. But if you want to do it, then you do it. Doesn't matter to me. Stop replicating yourself. All right, that one's dead. What even are those things? Allow me. Egg-like creatures that live in forested regions. They reproduce asexually by consuming minerals and mako. The offspring born in this area will give their lives to defend their parents. Hmm. There's little egg dudes. Yep, just little egg dudes. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> it's okay, kids. Well, it's not that spooky. She got spooked though. Yep. Go away! We don't like you around here. Who are we attacking? Oh, there's a little one. Oh, he's gonna blow up! <laughs> <laughs> it's a baby! Ah! <laughs> All right, we are here. We made it. The webcam didn't freeze when I used the flashback recording button. Nice. Some Moogle medals. If you woke up and the Moogle from this Final Fantasy was in your bedroom, would you be like, oh, cute? Or would you be like, I'm deeply horrified? I probably would be somewhere in the room in the middle where I was like, what the fuck are you doing in my room? <laughs> like, and it'd be like, I've come to make you into a Moogle. I'd be like, no. And then its smile no. would stretch too big and oh, no. you'd be transformed. Horrifying. If I wake up and we're eye to eye, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. <sighs> Alright, so, fiend there. We haven't got this tower, though. Mm -hmm.